Hey everybody, my name is Brock Armstrong. I'm the Get Fit Guy and I'm, uh, I'm kind of stuck in my office today so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate anything too crazy, but it actually got me thinking about something that I did the other day. Um, and I've started doing more and more often since then. I was, I was actually at the movies. Yes, I am a nerd. I went to see Captain Marvel in the theater when it first came out because, well, Captain Marvel is awesome. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, after sitting there for two and some plus hours, when I stood up, I felt very stiff, not only in the hip flexors, which are, let's see if I can get far enough back without knocking the bikes over, hip flexors, which are here, but I also was feeling some tension across my, my, uh, my lumbar, across the middle of my back, and, and even up into my neck. So when I stood up, I just started going through some movements that felt like they would loosen me up and get some movement into that area. And since then, I've been doing this more and more often. In fact, I did it at the gym the last couple of times I was there when I was doing some heavy back squats. So I've got the, the barbell across my back doing squats and then in between sets I was doing this same routine and this is a routine you can see I'm not in any gym clothes or anything this is a routine that you can do anytime anywhere doesn't need a warm-up doesn't need anything like that and really all you're doing is getting some movement into some muscles some ligaments some joints some tendons <laughs> all fascia all that good stuff May getting some movement into parts of your body that are often very sedentary because we spend so much time sitting or even like I'm my desk here is a standing workstation but when I'm working at it I'm I'm still I'm not doing much so it's important to get some movement back into those areas so this is the routine that I've been doing start off with just a few of these things sorry you're seeing my belly there but um you just go back and forth a few times like this and then you can start to go a little farther to the sides, farther to the sides, and I do 10 per side of those. Not too fast at first, just keep it nice and slow. Then the second one is just reaching across the body. Same thing, 10 on each side, making that movement more and more full range of motion as those muscles start to loosen up and, and get a, a little more mobility in them. Then move on to, I'll turn sideways for this one, it's basically just a rounding of the back and expanding, rounding, expanding. So you're getting the flexion and the extension of the spine, getting shoulders involved, a little bit of neck. Again, 10 of those increasing the range of motion as you do it. And then I like to end with 10 shoulder rotations. So I'll do five in one direction and then five in the other direction. And then if you've got time and you're still feeling like you need, could be a little looser, start from the beginning again. 10 of these guys getting further to the side, further to the side. 10 of these getting more and more rotation with each one. So you're getting even more movement. Then again, I'll do this one forward. So you're going forward and extend and extend and then rotating and rotating. And then just shake everything out and then go back to what you were doing, whether that's working at your desk, um, whether that's doing heavy back squats or whatever. So there you go. Quick and dirty little uh, upper body loosening up exercise you can do when you've been sitting too long, whether you've been doing back squats or watching a movie, <laughs> whatever you feel like when you feel like you need some mobility in that upper body, that's what you can do. I'm Brock Armstrong, the Get Fit Guy, asking you to join me back here in a couple weeks for another workout of the week where I'll show you something else fun and exciting to do. See you next time.